Hello guys, in today's video we will see how to share files over a network. So basically there are two methods of doing this. The first one is to provide the shared path access directly to the user and the second one is to provide the shared path access to a security group and then add that group to the user. So let's get into it. Let me create a new user first. I hope you guys are aware of the process of creating a user and a security group. If not, you can check our previous videos. As you can see, I have created a user test 7. Now login to the server from which you want to share the files or folders. Here I want to share the files of DC01 itself. I have created a new drive here for the sharing purpose. Let me show it. That is the E drive. Let's create a folder here. Share. Now go to the server manager, files and folder storage, the shares. Now here, as you can see, these two parts are already shared. So let me delete these first. We will create a new shared path. Click on next. Now here you need to select the drive which you want to share. Also you can select a specific path. So here I am selecting this path, the share path in E drive and paste it here. Click on next. This is the share name. Now this the remote path is to share. This is the path which will be used by the user to access this path. So click on next. So here the first option is enable access based enumeration. Access based enumeration displays only the files and the folders that a user has permission to access. If a user does not have read or equivalent permission for a folder, Windows hides the folder from the user's view. The second option is allow caching of the share. Caching makes the contents of the share available to offline users. If the branch cache for the network files role services is installed, you can enable branch cache on the share. Encrypt data access. When enabled, remote file access to this share will be encrypted. This secures the data against unauthorized access. While the data is transferred to and from the share, if this is box is checked and grayed out, an admin has turned on encryption for the entire servers. So these three options are self-explanatory. Let's proceed further. Click on next. So from here we can provide access to users and the security groups. Just click on customize permissions. Now here you can add through the add option any user, any security group to which you want to provide the access. Just select a principal. Just select the user. Here I am selecting test 7 which we just created now here you can select the type of access which you want to provide i am selecting the full control now apply click on ok click on next and click on create so we have created the shared path so let's go to the e drive here I will create a text file to check the modify access of the user. The 
save it. Now let's log into the other machines with the user's credentials and uh, validate the access. I have logged in as user test 7. Let's try to access the shared path. Now here we will use the path which I told you while creating the share. As you can see, the user is able to access the shared path. We provided the full control access to the user. Let's try that. As you can see, user can modify the file. So this is all about the first type. We will see the second type. Let's move to the second method, which is providing access through security group. Let me create a new user and a security group. So I have created a user test 8 and uh, SG SG share path. Let's go to the drive. Now let's create a folder. Now we will follow the same steps as we did in the first method. Go to the server manager, file and storage services, shares. Now we will create a new share. Select the path. Now here, instead of selecting a user, we will select a security group. We will grant access to a security group instead of granting access to a user. Now here I am selecting the read only because we have already tried with the modified one. Just click on apply ok the share path has been created now there is an alternative way of providing the access to the user and the security group which is through the folder itself so let's go to the folder just right click on the folder go to properties 
then select security can you see the edit option here from this option you can add any user any security group to whom you want to provide the access let's try to give the access to user test 7 which we created last time now we have to add the user to the security group only then the user will be able to access the shared path click on add now select the sg here apply ok now let's validate the access. Log in to the server. Now I have logged in. Let's try the access. So you can see the user has the access to the folder. Let's try the modify access. We didn't provide the modify access to the user. So let's just try it out. So as you can see, we are not able to save the file it shows we don't have the permission so this is it so in these ways you can share the files some of you might be wondering why would anyone select the second method which is providing the access through the security group because it includes one extra step which is adding a user to a security group but here we are talking about a single user only assume that we have hundreds or thousands of user it will not be feasible to go to the server manager every time and adding each of them separately instead we can only add the security group to the required user and tada we are good to go so this is the second way so this is all about today's video if you have any doubt, do let us know in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button. Do subscribe the channel and share the video. Bye-bye.